Hello everyone, in this video we're going to learn about uh, the first uh, traversal, uh, traversal of the binary search trees. So here we have uh, three algorithms written here, uh, pre-order, traversal, uh, in order, and post-order. Uh, so what does it mean to uh, traverse a tree in a depth first manner? So it means that we're going to uh, visit one uh, side of the tree, or one uh, deepest part of the tree uh, first and then we're going to go to the opposite uh, direction. So here I have uh, provided the, an example of a tree and we're going to see the pre-order or in order and the post-order uh, traversal of the uh, of these tree. So let's go to the uh, these uh, three algorithms. So I'm trying to keep uh, all of them together so we can take a look at once. So as you see in the pre-order we're passing the node so is, uh, all of them are recursive functions we're passing the node in and we start all the time with the root because that's the only node that we have access to it at any time. So if the node uh, that we're trying to check if it's not equal to null, as you see in all the uh, methods, we have the same conditions, uh, same condition. In the pure order, it means that we're going to visit the node first before visiting left child and right child. And that's what we see uh, here that we're visiting first then we're visiting the left child second and then we're visiting the right child third so when it says uh with the left child it means the left child and all descendant of the left child and when it says right child it means the right child and all descendant of the left child uh, of the right child and so going to in order in in order first we're visiting the left child and then we're visiting the uh, the node and its right child. In the post order, for sure, we're uh, visiting the left child first and the right child first, and then we're visiting the node. So, although uh, you know, it seems that uh, we were using the node and then, using, for example, in the pre order, the left uh, child and then right, but uh, we should keep it in mind that it's a recursive. So, we're going to visit all descendant again, all descendant of a node before going to visit uh, you know the sibling of that node so with this example uh, we know with this ex uh, explanation I'm going to go to this example and show how the pre-order in order and the post order algorithm work here uh, all the time as I said we're going to start with the root uh, so here uh, let's write the code for that or just write the steps for the pre-order so pre-order and as I said, we start with the root, which is the very first node. And the root in this case is 10. So in the pre-order, as you see here, we're visiting the node first, and then we're visiting the left child and the right child. So it means that we're going to visit every uh, children, uh, every child of the 10 on the left side, and then we're going to visit the uh, right child. So that's going to be the order, and that's what's going to uh, like to happen in this uh, tree that we have here. So uh, after uh, visiting 10, so that means that in the pre-order we're going to visit 10 or the number 10 will go here because we said to visit number 10. So the first thing, uh, visit one more, visit 10. So it means that we're going to visit number 10. And then it says to pre-order pre -order the left child of 10. So as you see here, it is pre-order n.left and then pre-order n.right. So pre-order uh, uh, 10.left, which is, uh, so I'm going to write 10.left, which is again 10.left itself is 5. So we're going to do the pre-order of 5. So remember, we uh want to do the p order of five before being able to uh, call the p order of the 10 dot right which is 20. so the pre order of uh 10 dot left which is uh, uh five uh, will first gonna visit uh five first so after 10 we're gonna visit five so that's the orders that we have here so far we visited 10 and then we went to 5 and we're visiting to uh, 5 in the second one. 
Then after uh, visiting five, again, is it a recursive call? That means that we need to visit every ch left child of five before visiting its uh, right children. So here we need to go and call the pre-order of five that left. Which again, five that left in this example is uh, three. So, uh, and after the game pre-order, the very first one, because three is not null, means we need to visit node three. So that means here, let me add this to the uh, example. So that's gonna be the third uh, uh, node that we visit. As you see here, that's the, how, uh, it actually shows the depth first concept. We visited 10, then we visited 5, and now we visited 3. So we went all the way down to the very uh, bottom left uh, children or the child of the, uh, the root of the very bottom of the tree. Now we need to call the pre-order of uh, 3. So pre-order of 3.left, which is in the uh, example uh, we see here is null so it does not exist so it goes and it's just gonna be a dead end so it doesn't do and again let me just uh, have it here that this is null so it does not exist so if you look at here because the the node n is not equal uh, is not uh, is equal to null then we're done with the pre-order of the three dot uh, left uh, and then we need to go back and here we need to call the pre-order of Three dot right, which exists in this example, and it is actually four, so that's going to be uh, four. So here again, the pre-order first, we're going to visit the node. Uh, we're going to visit the node four, so that's going to happen. Uh, I forgot to add this one, so three, and now the node four. Else, I'm going to say here that four going to be actually the fourth node to going to be uh, visited. After that, we need to uh, call the pre-order of uh, left children of four, so four that left, which again, it is null. So we're not gonna uh, continue further. And then we're gonna call the pre-order of four that right. So four that right, which again is null. So we are not gonna continue. So we're done with the uh, left uh, child of the three and also with the right child of three. So now we are done. So we're going to go uh, to the pre order of five dot left. So we are done. I'm going to just check. So we're done with these, all this stuff here. We're done. We're done. We're done here. So we're done with the uh, visit of node five. We're done with the pre order of five dot left. And based on the algorithm that we have here, now we need to visit the five dot right, which is in this example is the node eight. So here is the steps. So it's gonna be pre-order of five dot right. So again, these are the orders that we are uh, like they're calling the uh, methods. Maybe it was uh, better to actually put the numbers. So I'm gonna put uh, some numbers one, two, uh, three and then four and then five here's six uh, here we have seven here we have eight here we have nine uh, ten eleven and here is the call number twelve so uh, hopefully these numbers are going to help to uh, memorize uh, the steps that uh, we need uh, to take in order to call the pre-order so the pre-order of uh, uh, five dot right means that we need to uh, visit the node uh, five first. So now node five will be uh, visited. So here, that was gonna happen that that's gonna be, let me choose the red color here. So, uh, uh, okay, five that right, which is eight. Uh, so I made a mistake here, five that right is eight. So let me just fix this one very quickly. And that's gonna be eight. So again, this is eight. And this is going to be step uh, 13. So that means that we're going to go here and here. And that's going to be the fifth node to be uh, printed. So uh, 10, uh, 5, 3, 4, and now the node 8 is uh, printed. 
So we are done with the uh, node 5. We visited the left child here. We visited the right child. And then we are done with the, all the le left children or the left uh, descendant of the node 10. So as you see here, everything that we did so far was part of the call to the left child of 10, which was 5. Now after that, again, we're going to just uh, draw another giant. Uh, uh, although, again, uh, we need actually to... Uh, oh, I forgot the node 7. So here we need to call the pre-order of... So I'm going to just fix that. A.left. So A.left, which is 7. So... That is step 14, or the call number 14. And then here, that's going to be visit 7. So 7 is going to be printed. So I, I had forgotten the number 7 here. So we have 7. And now, after that, we need to call the uh, pre order of uh, 7.left, which does not exist. So it is null. So no. Uh, further action and then after that uh, we are going to uh, call the pre-order of 7 dot right which also is null so also I'm going to write numbers so that's the call number uh, 15 16 and call number 17 so when we visited the the left child of uh, 8 now we need to call the right child of 8 so it's going to be pre-order of a dot right so I'm gonna just make sure that a doesn't have a, a right child so which is which um, I'm correct so and that was the call uh, number 18 and uh, there is nothing further so we are done with the uh, uh, again this is null with the all left descendant of the node 10 so as you see here uh, all the things all the steps that have written or all the calls or the uh, or the orders that we put the items on top of the stack. So although we call the uh, 10 that left, and after that we immediately have the 10 that right, but honestly what happens, uh, and actually what happens on the, uh, the in the code and in the program is that we need to call every, like the comment uh, function recursively for many times before being able to call the pre-order of 10 dot right. Now let's go to the 10 dot right. I think that's going to be uh, correct. So, so here uh, it's going to be pre-order of 10 dot right, which is uh, the node 20. So 10 dot right is the node 20. And again, this is the call number uh, 19. So it took us about like the 17 or 18 uh, calls before being able to call the uh, right child of the uh, 10. So we know that the pre-order first visit the node. So we're going to visit node uh, 20. That means that node 20 will be printed here. Node uh, 20. So I'm going to, this is the step 6 and then, or the 6 numbers to be printed. And then here we have 20 is going to be uh, the seventh number to be printed. After that, we're going to go and call the left child of uh, 20, which is uh, uh, 15 so it's going to be pre-order of 20 dot left so which is uh, 15 and I'm going to again write the steps so this, this is step 20 and this is step 21 uh, that we took in order to complete a pre-order now the pre-order of 20 uh, the left which is 15 means we need to visit the node 15 first so we're going to visit node 15 I'm going to add it here, node 15 added here, and here we're going to the left. So it's going to be uh, the 8 node to be uh, visited. And then that, after that, we need to visit the left and right child of 15. So uh, pre order 15.left, which is null, so we're not continuing that. And then we're going to call the pre order. And this time 15 dot right, which is 18. So that means that we're going to call the pre order one more time. We're going to visit node 18. And then we're going to call the pre order of 
18 that left which is null and we're going to call the pre-order of 18 dot right uh, which also is null so we're done and I'm going to again write the steps so we uh, had the step 21 22 is 23 24 uh, 25 26 and 27 so we had uh, so far 27 statements or uh, calls or like the uh, uh, instructions that we uh, executed with this uh, simple uh, four or five lines of code so we are done with the uh, pre-order of uh, uh, like the we done with the 20 dot left which was uh, within the 15 and then uh, within the left and uh, right child of uh, 15 so I'm gonna just also write that the one that is a step 9 so we had 18 so I'm gonna add it here as well so we had 18 making sure that we have yes we visit in 18 so we are done with the left child of 20 so we need now to visit the right descendant or the right subtree of 20 which are the number 25 and number 22 and again that's exactly can be seen here that we're done and here we need to go and call the pre-order of 20 dot right so which is example 25 so the pre-order first calls the uh, the no visit method so we're going to visit 25 so visit 25 goes here i think i'm running out of space so visit 25 visit 25 so that's going to be the 10th node to be visited and now we need to call the left uh trial or the visit the left trial so it's going to be pre-order of 25 dot left which is uh, I think number 22 just to verify that is number 22 so number 22 again we're gonna call the visit function uh, we're using 22 so 22 will be printed here going back we're top here visit 22 so that's gonna be the 11th item number to be printed and uh, in other words is the last uh, item of the tree and now we're going to call the uh, pre-order of uh, 22 dot uh, left which is null and then we're going to call the pre-order of 22 dot right which also is uh, null so again uh, null and again this is null and now we need to call the uh, pre-order of the 25 dot right so pre-order of 25 dot right which is also null so we are gonna be uh, done so we're done with the pre-order of the 20 dot right we're going back here uh, we're done with the pre-order of 10 dot right and that means that we are done with the pre-order of uh, the root so also I'm gonna uh, add these uh, steps just to be consistent with what we have written so far so that's going to be step 28 or the call 28 29 uh, 29 and this uh, 30 31 uh, 32 33 and 34 so for these three we had to call uh, 34 uh, statements uh, again although that's a pre-order code as you see here is very uh, you know simple but uh, because this recursive it calls itself uh, many times uh, maybe one thing that we can add uh, to this method is before calling the pre-order of the left and right uh, maybe we can check if the n.left is null uh, is equal to null or not and same thing for the n.right so that uh, will help us to uh, you know omit unnecessary calls to the pre-order of n.left and n.right right if uh, any of them uh, is uh, null. So in the end left that is null, we're not going to call the p order. Uh, if uh, n dot right is null, also we're not going to call the uh, p order for n dot right. But again, uh, that's very simple version. You know, it's a small improvement maybe to the code. Uh, you know, in some cases it might be uh, very helpful as well. So here is the uh, again an example, the uh, fully explained example of the the way that the p order works. 
uh, I'm not gonna go uh, and draw the same you know the maybe uh, uh, drawing that I have here for the in order and post order is gonna take a long uh, time and uh, I think we just uh, you know want just to show how it works but what there is one interesting uh, feature about the in order one so as you see here and we're uh, if you look at the tree that I draw here it is a binary search tree so we're doing the depth first uh, like the tree traversal on a binary search tree which means that the left children uh, of a node or the left descendants always have a smaller value and uh, right children or the right descendant of a node have uh, higher uh, or larger values and uh, we're assuming again the numbers or uh, items are distinct uh, for the sake of simplicity in all examples that I'm providing we're picking numbers uh, but or the numeric keys but it doesn't mean that we cannot choose any other uh, keys or the data that we have. So as long as that we have impl we have implemented the, uh, you know, some mechanism for uh, comparing the keys in our nodes, uh, we should be fine. So again, but for the sake of simplicity, we're just using numeric values. So for the in order ones, uh, it is interesting that if you look at the algorithm, first we need to visit the left child of each node then visit the node and then visit the uh, right child so I'm going to write the result of the in order and post order here and you're going to see that uh, what is interesting feature about the in order so the result will be equal to uh, 3 4 5 7 8 10 uh, 15 18 20 22 and 25 so as you see here, when we call the in order, uh, uh, like the traversal of it, a binary search tree, the numbers or the way that we're uh, visiting the numbers will be uh, in a sorted manner. So three, four, five, seven, eight, up to twenty-five, which is the la very the largest item. And it that makes sense because if you look at the method again, it says that uh, call the in order of the left uh, children of a node. So the node ten, it means that every uh, left uh, sub child of the 10 will be printed first before we print number 10 which are these nodes that we see here this is all the left children of uh, 10 and also all the right children of 10 will be printed after that and because it is a binary search tree means that uh, this pattern is going to repeat for every other uh, sub tree of the uh, tree which means that then all the nodes will be printed in a sorted way. So also I'm going to write the way that the post order works. Uh, so in the post order we're visiting the uh, left child first and then the right child and then the node. So here it means that uh, for the uh, before we visiting 10 we need to visit every uh, left children of that, every left child of that and then visit every right child of that. So going down uh, to the very bottom of the tree we need to visit uh, the node 4 first and then we need to visit uh, 3 because 4 is the right child so we need to visit it first then so uh, we need visit node uh, 3 and then we need to visit the right child of 5 which is 8 and 7 but before within 8 we need to visit 7 uh, which is a left child and then we need to visit the node 8 and then we are visiting node 5 so here, all, all the left children of the node 10s, we will have been, uh, uh, you know, we just printed them. And now we need to go to the right uh, children and again, repeat the same process. But before visiting 20, we need to print every left children, every left child of 20, which is uh, which are 15 and 18. But again, 18 will be printed first. So we're going to have 18 and then we're going to have 15, the left children of 20. And then we're going to print the uh, right children of 20, which are 22 and 25 again the reason that we're printing 22 before 25 because 22 is the child of 25 which is going to be printed first so and then after 25 we need to print uh, 20 again I'm just running out of the space here 20 and finally we have number 10 so as you see here number 10 which was the root of the tree in the post order is uh, printed last and the pre-order actually was the very first node to be uh, printed so something that, uh, you know, uh, I know that some uh, might make some mistakes that 
the pre-order and post-order uh, are not exactly in the reverse of each other. Sometimes it might be the case, but this is not the general rule that the pre-order and the post-order to be uh, the reverse of each other. But this is a rule that if in a binary search tree, when you are using the in-order depth first uh, traversal of a tree, it's always going to print the data of like the tree in a sorted way as we just saw here. Uh, again, uh, you can just maybe, uh, you know, uh, watch the video again for seeing that what we did for the pre-order. The same thing can go to the, uh, you know, in-order or post-order. Uh, if you wanted me to, uh, you know, explain or draw the tree for the uh, in-order and post-order, uh, please, uh, you know, add comments to the video and I will be happy to uh, write the in-order and the post-order uh, details. Uh, as well.